Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Dean Shield, and today is part two of the Chiefs rebuild. So let's hop right in. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, turn on notifications, and yeah. So anybody in here worth it? Dean Lonely, honestly, is our new starter over Taco Charlton. I think he's solid over him. So we'll see if we can get him here. Uh, D tackles are looking pretty good, so I'm not too worried about it. I mean, honestly, those are the two previous starters. Frank Clark obviously ain't gonna get replaced, even though he's 28. Not yet. He has superstar development. See, this guy's same age, so much better. But the thing is, the dev trait. I'm gonna keep him on the team because of his dev trait. We've already made an offer it on David. Right outside linebacker. I mean, this one is a no-brainer signing. It's a no-brainer. No-brainer to bring this guy in on a huge contract. Like, corners. I mean, I know we got those two, but who do we really have behind them? I know we have a bunch of young guys behind them. But got seventy seven overall, young, and we got seventy three overall, old. So I think we actually get Jordan Lewis here. You know, I'm a Cowboys fan, so I'm very familiar with him. He could be a good number three corner. And move our other younger corner down to our fourth corner. Because these guys are too old to pick up. Jordan Lewis is still young at 26. So, I don't mind signing him to this deal. And hopefully, he becomes a Kansas City Chief. Free safety, Earl Thomas is here. No. Yeah, we're not going to take anybody here. Strong safety would be depth if we were taking it, but... Kicker, obviously, no. Punter? He's young, but it doesn't really matter. I guess we'll get Matt Hack. He's a better overall and will develop quicker. So, we'll go with her and see if we can try to pick him up. And we'll see who we all got in this free agency. So, it looks like a lot of guys wanted to come to Kansas City. We got Davis. That was a big signing. Oh, let's go. New starter. Get the good uh, left tackle. We got Lewis. We got the left in. We got the random fullback. We got Mac. We got Fournette. We got David. Got the punter. I think we got everybody. Unless someone's just not giving us a... Williams is still trying to decide. So we're still waiting on Williams here. But, okay, that, that boosted our defense. Three overalls by adding three new starters in this offseason. So he will be playing over. Because morale's taking him down right now. And morale's boosting him up. So, but he will be our left tackle starter. Davis, our number two wide receiver. Wait, is that? Plus one or no. Okay, yeah. So, it has Hardman as our number three, but Sammy Watkins is going to be. That's only because of morale. So. But we brought Jordan Lewis in. And we add... Levon David to the squad. I think I signed him to a two-year deal. I'm not exactly sure what I signed him to. But I think it was something like two years. Something like that. Oh, why did I go to edit player? That's definitely not where I want to go to. I'm pretty sure he's on a two-year contract. I may have signed him to a one-year contract. But I feel like I gave him two years. But uh, we'll check it, we'll check it, we'll check it. 
Oh, I only signed him for one year, so. It's actually better if he's only here for one year, because he's just going to digress, and then I'll decide if he's going to stay another year or not. But, I mean, Alex is a new starter here in town. Laurie is a new starter here in town. So we upgraded the defense quite a bit in this offseason, but we still got the draft to go. And we have another running back. So we're going to go ahead and trade these guys, and hopefully when we get Williams, trade him. But we'll see if we can trade these running backs. Marlon Mack. Do I keep any of these guys as my backup? And I don't think I can. I don't think Le'Veon will have any trading value, so I'm going to have to get rid of these guys. Bears. Have the number three overall pick. And offer him a high overall running back with good development. They're interested. Ooh. Do they want Taco Charlton? They do. Bro, it will take a seventh rounder for next year. There we go. So we traded Mac, Taco Charlton. And a 7th round pick for next year for the number 3 overall pick this year. I call that pretty good value. Because there's no injuries, so it's fine. Gus Edwards, anybody want you? Is everybody just really semi-interested in you? No. Washington football team likes you. They have the 20th pick. They were actually good. I forgot they were. They're the only team interested in you. So I guess we're just going to get the 20th overall pick out of you. That almost went straight up. Only if we took a quarterback in the draft, bro. <laughs> only if we were doing this. Like, after the first year. Honestly, Eric Fisher can go. Because we have that new guy. And did we get the pick. All right. So we're not trading Le'Veon. We just have Leonard Fournette to trade now. And anybody want Fournette? No. So let's go for a team I know is good. The Saints. I know they beat us in the Super Bowl. So could we get this pick? It's looking like maybe a yes. Really, don't really, I'm open to trade one of them, but I'm not, like, really wanting to do it. I'm thinking they need a left outside linebacker. Why can't it be a right outside linebacker you need? Like, why? We just signed him to a deal, but I mean... Honestly, if I go out, do I want to trade Robinson? I mean, if I was to trade any receiver, it would be him. All right. I don't know if it was a good idea to trade him away. But we did. I don't think that hurts us with, too much with Davis being introduced. Well, yeah, like, we still have four dominant receivers. So, yeah, that was, that was going completely fine trade. Let's go to next week. Hopefully, Williams will sign with us. And he does. That's great. Fifth year options. Yeah, Quincy Nelson absolutely get his fifth year option. Like, are we stupid here? All right, now Williams has got to go. Now, I know you guys are saying, you know, Williams is my backup. I would have to cut Le'Veon. And that means I get no value. Because he's not tradable. So. That's kind of out of the water, guys. And no team is interested. Really. Seahawks, are you good? You don't even have a pick. Raiders. Thank you guys were decent. How close would it be to this be if I was asking for? It's actually a lot closer than I thought. 
Don't have a... Ooh, see, this is May. What's our D-tackle depth? Because I'd rather trade them that if we have it. I mean, we don't really have it, but we kind of have it. Then we're not it. Oh my god, they want a right outside linebacker. But they don't want him. All right, we may have, we may have to make a move. Who do we trade here? I'm thinking I would rather trade Lewis out of any of those guys. Do we honestly trade a guy who we just signed as a brick free agent? I don't think we do. I don't think that's Let's try to trade with a different team. Like, let's go for... Maybe I'll trade with the Chargers, who would be in the AFC Championship game. Maybe we just have a lot of late first-round picks. You know? Yeah, see, this is making this a lot easier to maybe make something happen here. They need a right outside linebacker. Ooh, they actually want him a lot. Wait, we could get an extra pick out of this and not use the running back for this one. Hold on. Hold your horses. Six rounder for next year. Wait, but when I took him away, it was the exact same. Or it hardly went up. This game glitched. Oh, okay. So we didn't even use our running back in that trade. I mean, we knew the Jaguars were horrible, so they're definitely not the team. The Titans. We played them the divisional, so. Maybe we can get a pick from them. See, they have Derrick Henry, though, so this is going to be a little dicey. Trying to... They need a right tackle. Uh, we have, like, no depth there. They need a wide receiver. Oh, this would have been a better time for the wide out. They need D-tackle. Please want him. Of course you don't. <sighs> yeah, we're not going to be able to trade with the Titans. Who do we trade with for this dang pick? What team was good? Cowboys were good. Yeah, I know the Cowboys were good. Uh, what do you need? They want a center. And you know what? I can kind of give one to you. Ooh. Do I try this just straight up? If we had the running back as a deal. And you know what? I'm fine with that. <laughs> and Williams and Reader, our backup center, are off to the Cowboys. So now that we also got third year option or fifth year options out of the way, we're going to the draft. The Chiefs are now on the court. We have the number one overall pick. Didn't think we traded for someone for that, but we did. All right. So offensively, I mean, the biggest need would be linemen. Offensively, besides that, offense is stacked. When you really need the rebuild in the defensive area, that's still stacked. Maybe right outside linebacker, defensive end, any outside linebacker, or defensive end. Really, I think is who we go with. Oh. But we'll just see who the top players available here and i said a big need was defensive in and there's a really good one here that's projected to go pretty quickly it's a decent outside 
mid first rounder for that one. What's about this outside's an early first? Okay, so I'm adding these two to my draft board. Or not him, sorry. I feel like this guy was the better one, right? Yeah. I think we pick him with the number one overall pick. The He's a 77 hidden. Bro, that's our new starter. Nice. Who do the Jaguars take us? They take the other right in, who's still 75, so eh, pretty good player. We just took the way better one. <laughs> There's a really good quarterback in here, but we got Patrick Mahomes. Pass. I think we're going to draft Kieran. 78 hidden. Like, we're just taking some bomb players here. We don't have another pick to the 20th overall pick. We'll just have to see what we can take here. I mean, there's a good running back. Could be a replacement of Le'Veon Bell as our number two. A solid middle linebacker for when the other guy gets old. I'm going to check Lyman, but there's nothing there. We're taking that guy. I mean, we could take this guy later, early second with one of our later picks. I would be kind of down for that. Yeah, I'm kind of down for that guy. Ooh, wait, hold on. Late second. Mid second, yeah. So I think what we're gonna do, hold on, let me go add this guy to my draft board. He could be available for a while, but we are gonna draft this middle linebacker. He's 76, only normal though, but he will be our future when, um, our stud retires. The Chiefs are now on the clock. See, I have like four picks still left at the first round. And my lineman is still there. And he's probably going to be there for a hot minute. So uh, this is honestly take best player available and have fun. Early first round running back here. Late first wide receiver. Mid first running back. I think I honestly take Lean McCory with this pick. 81 star or better development. Le'Veon Bell no longer has a job here in Kansas City. Well, he may have a job, but he won't be playing, that's for sure. We took a stud running back when we running back's not even a need. What can I say? So there's that late first round receiver mid. Don't even take another running back in this draft. We could use some tight end depth. We need a, we don't really need an outside linebacker. He would be nice though, if we brought him in. There's Jimmy Ward. Who's this guy? It's a late first way down here. So how far is he down the draft board? He's, he could be there for a while. Do I take the receiver or tight end here? Uh, I'm gonna take the tight end here. Seventy-five overall, not bad. And we still have the next three picks, so I'm down for this. Now we're drafting that receiver. Welcome to the team. Seventy-four overall. I mean, I'll take it. We don't have another pick till the fourth round. So do I trade up? Right? Or do I take my lineman now? No one here I want. <laughs> I think I, ooh, oh, he, no, he's third round talent. 
I think I take my guy. Jimmy Ward, it's really early to take you, but he looks solid. I'm gonna go ahead and take him. 71 overall. He just looked like the best lineman there, so I had to take him. I don't think there will be anything with a 31st overall pick in the fourth round. I think there will be nothing, but hey, you never know. We'll see. Yeah, Chargers just took a 65 overall corner. Any hidden gems here late in this draft class? Like you're real late. I mean, there's a couple solid six rounders in here, late six. Late six, they're gonna be pretty bad, but a fourth, mid fourth rounder here. There's a third round guy here. There's another, there's a mid third round guy here. There's a second here. Late second. I doubt if there's a, okay, I thought that's for one. I think I have to take here that second round talent i saw left in seventh round projected but he's a late second round talent he's a 69 he has hidden dev he has hidden dev are you kidding no way does that player have hidden dev bro that was actually a genius pick by me i mean he was obviously the best player there and pretty good There's a lot of steals here down the board. So I'm not really simulating. Do we really want to take another end though? <laughs> I mean the two we've taken has already been phenomenal. Maybe we could take a different position. Only positions that are the best player are freaking ends. You got a linebacker there, there's four. We're at our position of needs are the only good players here. But you might think, hey, yeah, yeah, that's a fantastic thing. Honestly, I think I take this mid fourth corner. And he's a 67. That ain't bad though. Now I don't think I'm gonna find another hidden gem, especially in the seventh round. So now we'll quit, but I, I'm, I'm glad I stayed for that fourth round, because we found, we found a baller, or, yeah, we found a baller. So obviously, with the number one overall and the pick of the draft, we took a right in, defensive end, 77 overall, star a better demolit. Then we took a right out sideline, we back with the third overall pick, who's a 78 overall, star a better development. And we took Ramsey, who's really normal development, but he's 76 overall. Then we took this running back, who's phenomenal. Took Jimmy Graham, the tie in. But in the fourth round, Martin Davis, the surprise of the century, has hidden development. 69 overall. Hidden development. Bruh. And of course we tried dra drafted Andrew Boone. Matt Flowers, who the computer picked up with the sub pick. It's quite garbage. I don't think I got the best player in the draft class. So I'm very interested on who that was. Oh no, we did get the best player of the draft class. I guess I just wasn't paying attention that he was the best. Then Karen was in number two. So we had the top three best players. 49ers get the next player. He didn't even have hidden dev. Not many actually of these top guys had a dev tree. We got all the dev tree in this draft. Looks like, so that's. Kind of cool. 
But yeah, we got a steal in that fourth round. Like, we got a steal. Look at, we'll look at this team more thoroughly um, when we just advance to the preseason. But that was a very good draft class for us. For what picks we actually had, it was pretty good. Of course, we still have Patrick Mahomes. We have no backup quarterback. So that's kind of, eh. But this rookie, man, so glad, so I'm so glad I decided to bring him in. Le'Veon Bell, I mean, we can't. He's just going to be sitting on our roster. Like, he's just going to be sitting there because he's no trade value. But he ain't going to be playing ahead of him. Actually, do I want Sammy Watkins playing? They're the same overall, actually. I think I actually want Hardman playing over him. Because he is a better overall. Or not better overall, but uh, younger. So in one year, Sammy. So in one year. Watkins. Sammy Watkins drops from number two receiver to number four receiver. It's got to hurt him. Also, we have the rookie Jimmy Ward here to back up the old guy. Defense. Uh, we upgraded for sure. We added the rookie. Kernan. Sean Kernan. 78 overall ball. Star or better development. Our, our whole linebacker core is different. Every single linebacker is different from last year. So that's this, you know. Ramsey also. Backup, new rookie. Lurmbo, our number one overall pick. He's a 77 overall. Star, better dev. Very good player. And then we got this player. A steal in the fourth round. 69 overall. Star, or better development. Be interesting to see if he has a future on this team. Maybe taking over Frank Clark at some point. Because he could develop into something with a good development trait. But he was a steal in the fourth round. Besides that, no one is new. So the whole linebacker core changed. And the two and one DN changed. That's all that really happened. Offense didn't go through too many changes except for Corey Davis being introduced to the receiving core. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and keep simming. So we have to cut somebody. All right, we got to cut 10 players off this roster. Let's see. Who do we cut? No one's recommended. <laughs> okay. Uh, bench left outside linebacker. Oh, that's their seventh round pick. Too bad. He's out of here. I mean, all these guys who are benched, they're obviously easy cuts. And Lyman, do we need backups? I feel like I shouldn't cut this guy. Andrew Boone is gone. He just wasn't high enough overall to stay on the team. So our two last picks are gone already from this team. A lot of we have a lot of bench wide receivers, so a lot of them are gone here. Another bench wide receiver that's just going to be gone from the team. All right, moving on to the regular season. We have Ryan Fitzpatrick on this team. I guess the CPU signed him because we didn't have a backup quarterback. So it makes sense. But I was like, Ryan Fitzpatrick is trying to negotiate a contract? What? <laughs> but I get that. So we're not going to set our goals so high. We're going to just make the playoffs. Well, this team is a very, very good team. Just an extremely good team. How many snaps did he get? Yeah, 94 snaps during the preseason. Thought you'd get a little more. He 
these guys probably didn't get very many snaps because there are starters. They actually get quite a few snaps. Just because defense doesn't really change. He got very few snaps. Mike Davis got very few snaps as well. So who was playing? We have Sammy Watkins as a slot receiver. Not happening. Besides for that, I'm fine with all this. I just feel like I need to change slot. I need to put Tyree Kill in the slot. He's our best receiver. We need to get him the ball. Like that's just gonna have to be how it's have to be. We need to get Tyree Kill the ball. And to do that in simulation is putting him in the slot. Now I do not mind Sammy Watkins as our number two. So now that Tyree kills on the slot, uh, we can send them in season. Cause we want Tyree kill getting the ball, getting the tutties. So that's just what we want on this team. We want the best receiver to get the ball. And the way you do that in this game is putting them in the slot we are four and three a big step down for this chiefs team like a huge step down chargers are six and one leading the division what's the problem offense is great defense is great why are we four and three Ward had a great game. <laughs> I mean, it was a game we won. And he has, and he's a breakout player. What's it? Hold the Chargers to 200. I mean, maybe the interception's manageable, but we're talking about Justin Herbert here, who's overpowered in simulation. Chill your boots, all right? Oh, Corey. I mean, he hasn't seen the field too, too much this season. Um, Cannon, we find out, and he's only star dev. That's such a buzzkill. Laro, he's not there yet. Davis is obviously not going to be there. He's not going to play, like, hardly at all. I was hoping he was a little more than starved but he's still a really good player, so. Let's see. Ryan Fitzpatrick, don't really care about. This is a guy I do care about, though. A guy who we need to bring back long terms, no ifs, no buts. And he will stay. Michael Short, I think I bring him back. He's. He's so good, you cannot bring him back, even if he's 32, like. He just wants a better bonus, okay. I'll wait to see if I bring him back. You are being brought back. This is a big free agency class here. Lots of guys pending free agents. I'll wait on you again. Oh, both of these guys. I'm not really... I think I would rather bring back this one and then wait on the other one. I feel like that's what's just what I'm going to have to end up doing. So, we're going to wait on you. I mean, we don't really need you. Neither you. Hopefully, this team can turn it around. And hopefully, I think 4-3 and three is still a playoff team, but... Hopefully, we can still make the playoffs here. We should. 
We're not as strong as last year, though. So we'll see. And we make the wild card with an 11 and five record. I wonder if we won our division. We probably didn't over a chart that six and one Chargers team. We beat them in week 17. And we won the division. They went three and six the second half of the season. And I think missed out on the playoffs. And they did. That's a rift for the Chargers. That's a big rip. And said the Broncos, who were like, what? One and six? Went freaking eight and one the second half of the year? What is going on here in this AFC West division? I do want to see what was the dev trait of our number one overall pick. I want to know. Like, really badly. He was Superstar X Factor. Are you kidding me, bro? We drafted a Superstar X Factor player. Of course, Davis getting no playing time. But he's developing quite nicely. I think he could have Superstar, but maybe not. But man, Superstar X Factor player. I knew there's something special when I was like, I had to take this guy. Seventh best offense. We were the number nine defense in the second half of the year. Where we did better, our defense was worse. I just don't understand. 4,400 yards for Patrick Mahomes, 40 touchdowns, only 10 interceptions. Rushing board, Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Three yards away from 1,000 years, but at 14 tutties. See, even though he is a better overall, Le'Veon Bell still get to run the ball more because he's like the power back. He was not the power back. He was like the third down running back. So, it's kind of a... Tyreek Hill, I mean, put him in the slot. 1,300 yards, eight touchdowns. Like, what do I tell you? He's a 99 overall now. Corey Davis had a solid year. Travis Kelsey had a solid year. A lot of guys had eight touchdowns. Back to Mahomes really spaced it out. Defensively. David laid the, the, the Le'Veon David. Le, <laughs> David, sorry. Oof, can't speak. Led the team to tackles, but only 89. Team wasn't too great at taking the, <laughs> this tackling. I don't know why. Frank Clark had 15 and a half, though. And the rookie, Superstar Arc Spectre, Kurt LaBrute, I can't speak today. La Rubuto, Budo, 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 Budo. We'll just call him Kurt, Kurt 13. Did he lead the team of sacks? He also led the team of sacks with nine. Chris Jones, six and a half. Like, I mean, he's good, but we need more pressure than that, boys. MVP. Goes to Patrick Mahomes. That's what you like to see. Coach of the year. I mean, yeah, seven, six, I guess. AFC offense player year goes to Patrick Mahomes. No one else in there. AFC defensive player year, Sean Evans. No Chiefs. AFC offensive rookie year, God willing. We had no one. Defensive rookie year, uh, Kurt number two, Sean number three. But we're back at the playoffs, though. We have to go to Buffalo. Oh, no, we're in, actually, Kansas City. I forgot that we actually won our division because the Chargers, for some reason, sucked the second half of the year when they were like gods the first half. I, I don't... I, I can't explain it, okay? <laughs> like, how do you go 6-1 and one the first half of the season? But then after that... Go one and f one and six. Like, how do you do? How do you go six and one the first half of the season? Wait, and go three and am I being rain dead right now? Good night. 
Yeah, three and six, the second half. It doesn't make sense. But, you know, we'll take it. Because we won the division because of it. So. Here against the Bills, here in wild card. Go up an early seven, nothing. Seven all. 14, seven. 14 all. 17, 14. 17 all. 23, 17. Actually, a game that's about to happen in real life tomorrow. 26, 17. 29, 17. 36, 17. 36, 24. And the Kansas City Chiefs take over. But yeah, uh, it's Chiefs and Bills in the conference championship game tomorrow in real life. So that's pretty cool, right? But here in the Chiefs in the wild card round a year later, when 36 uh, to 24, Mahomes four touchdowns, but had two interceptions, but still had a pretty good day. Rushing Le'Veon Bell. I mean, he was all right. Clyde said was all right. I, I need to figure out a way to get the rookie the ball more next year. Tyreek Hill, 12 for 181, two touchdowns. Corey Davis was good out there, too. Defensively, anybody get after the quarterback? Chris Jones got one and a half. Frank Clark got one. Derek had one. And the rookie, Kurt, had one. Interceptions. Tyron had one. Love to see that. So after 36-24 W against the Buffalo Bills, who will we play in our divisional matchup? Spend some coach XP here. Um, probably wide receiver. And then I guess punter. I forgot to cut that over punter, so we still have two punters on our team. Guys, I'm just stupid, but. I always forget to cut the other one when I sign another one. We got the Cleveland 12 and 4 Cleveland Browns. I'm having a bad feeling that this is going to get very ugly. Very, very fast. <laughs> Because Browns are overpowered in simulation even more than the Chiefs. So this is going to be kind of rough. But Patrick Mahomes obviously had the way better year. One MVP. Kelsey? Eh, it's hard to tell. But they looked like they had about the same year. Tiger Kill was better than Odell. Uh, Harrison had a better year than Tyra. No. That's Chris Jones had a better year than their guy, but no, no, you're dog, you're not telling me that. So we have to go to Cleveland. Our actually our very first road playoff game. You can't really count the Super Bowl because that's just a road for everybody. We go up an early seven nothing though. Seven three. Ten three. 17-3, shutting down this Browns offense. 17 6 oh my god. We're up 20-12. Whew, we're gonna go a little bit slower here. Cause things are kinda getting a little hectic. Or actually, maybe we'll not. Yeah, 23-12, 23-15, and the Chiefs take a W in Cleveland over the Cleveland Brown. 23-15 victory in back-to-back -back years. We're going to the AFC Conference Championship game. And hopefully we can, we can make that back-to-back -back years going to the Super Bowl. Um, Suits has two interceptions. He has a habit throwing lots of interceptions. But does make up for it for yards and tutties. I will say that. <laughs> but Baker is the better overall quarterback. I mean, he had way less passing yards than less touchdown. But he had no pick. So, uh, I guess that's fair. But Nick Chubb. Huh. Clyde Edwards, no one. We couldn't do anything on the ground today. Corey Davis had 132 receiving yards, just no touchdown. Tyreek Hill had a touchdown, though. And Le'Veon Bell had a touchdown. Defensively, Sean got after Baker Mayfield twice. Frank Clark got him once. Interceptions, yeah, we didn't pick off Baker at all in this game. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. 
that's okay. That's okay. We're going back to the AFC Conference Championship game. And we got the Baltimore Ravens in the AFC Conference Championship game. And it, and we have home field advantage for this game. So that means the Ravens have been upsetting some people. They upset the Titans. They upset the number one seed Patriots and to get to us. Dang. We'll either face Tom Brady or the Bucks or Teddy Bridgewater and the Panthers. Interesting. I have to look at Tom Brady still the quarterback for the Bucks. Like I have to know this in case we make it to the Super Bowl. Like Tom Brady has led this team. He's a still in is this what? So he's still only one, two, three. So did they fix that? Because before after one year, Tom Brady would be a seventy six overall. Now he only dropped to an 87 88 so that's believable why he led them to the to this point okay so maybe man maybe we'll tone that down for tom brady a little bit so you're being kind of harsh on him but you can't tell me teddy bridgewater's leading this team to the NFC conference and he is with full rivers as his backup giving guidance and cody stanley is probably gonna take his job in like four years if he stays on the team okay yeah you know, teddy bridgewater Will we, if we get past Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, will we play Teddy Bridgewater or Tom Brady? I'm going to safely say Tom Brady. But you never know. <laughs> that's crazy. Maybe that's actually nice that they fixed that where like a 94 overall quarterback goes down to 76 because he's 44 years old. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, nah. Like we're talking about Tom Brady here. Like you got to know who you're talking about. But we'll see if we can come out here and beat the Ravens here at Arrowhead Stadium and advance to the Super Bowl for the second straight year. I mean, hopefully we can do it, you know? Seven zero. Fourteen zero. Fourteen seven. 21-7. We're actually destroying the Ravens right now. 20-14. Oh, as I say that, they're making a comeback, but we shut it down. 35-17. 42-17. And the Chiefs win 42-17 over Baltimore Ravens. Back-to-back -back years, we are going to the Super Bowl. Hopefully this time we can win it and end this rebuild. But Patrick Mahomes... He finally broke his habit. This time throwing still a lot of touchdowns, but no picks. And his passer rating shows up for it. Had less passing yards than Lamar, but more completions and more attempts. And way more touchdowns. Clyde Edwards Hilaire really got it on this game. Le'Veon Bell was a monster this game. It's like their rig new rookie don't even exist. Yeah. If we don't win the Super Bowl, we need to get involved, but. 655 for two touchdowns for Travis Kelsey. Corey Davis got in the end zone. Tiger Kill got in the end zone. We put Sean put Lamar on the ground twice, and there's no interceptions in this game. So are we facing Tom Brady and the Bucks? Or are we facing Teddy Bridgewater and the Panthers? Them showing Tom Brady right there gives me a feeling it's gonna be Tom Brady. But who knows? Maybe 1400 XP, so we'll go ahead and spin that on kicker. This could be the year that we win the Super Bowl. We're back at it for the second straight year. We gotta win it this time. We just gotta win it this time. And it will against me, Tom Brady in the Bucks. Ooh, we're at AT and T Stadium, Dallas. We're at 
My favorite, my favorite team, my home team stadium here for the Super Bowl. That's fitting, I guess. Still don't know that running back because he don't play. Uh, wait, did anybody go up in development here on offense before I talk about that? No. Okay. But, oh my god, guys. Sean went up to superstar development. You love to see it. No one else went up. Oh, Ward. I guess he did it. I guess he completed his breakout challenge. Or did... Oh, I don't know. That just... Oh, let me go. I can't go back that far. But no, I think he uh, he didn't get his breakout challenge. He just got started up at the end of this year. Frank Clark has been playing pretty good. Still have no idea on Davis since he's not playing. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But we got the Bucks here in the Super Bowl at and Stadium. Please tell me we can get this rebuild done to the Chiefs. In just two years, like, I would be embarrassed. Like, I know you guys are probably already, like, making fun of me for not winning the Super Bowl with this team in the first year. But, hey, we had Drew Brees and the Saints, okay? And it's just, you know, it, was, it was hard, okay? Like, our offense could not move against them. Our defense was trying to hang on to the game. It, it was just bad. But hopefully with an upgraded defense, offensive, offense even more upgraded, we can beat Tom Brady in the Bucks. Here in the Super Bowl. We're back to the Super Bowl this year. Tonight. Here we go. Bucks go up 37. They're already up 14 nothing in the first quarter. Aha, uh -huh. this is not ideal now, is it? God, no one was blocking him. I just realized this is David's former team we're playing against. So, that's a pretty interesting storyline there. Can Mahomes get it? Eddie Travis Kelsey with the Moss. Tyreek Hill. I think Patrick Mahomes threw a pick six is what happened. Are we going to even get this play off to Bell before first quarter ends? Okay, yeah, we are. Give him, give Bell a block. Bell should be able just to get this in here on third down and one. All we need is a first. We don't really need a big run, but he gives it to us anyway. Ooh, Bell got hit. Glad he did not fumble that football. And we're still alive in this ball game. Can Tyreek Hill get open there? I don't want to test it. I am going to test it. Tyreek Hill! That happened last game! He's wide open, but then he doesn't make a play for the ball. I, 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 uh, I just really shouldn't have thrown it in the first place, but can you really blame me for taking that shot? <gasps> Bro, how do you not pick that? You could have caught it off the tip, man. Oh, yeah. Keenum right there. He's playing on over the Superstar X Factor. Interesting. Hey, 
Oh my god. Ooh. Man, why can't Junior just fumble there? This team just can't seem to win the Super Bowl, though. Wait, this is Dave. David went down the star, superstar, and I didn't even notice. Oh my god. Sacked by Chris Jones. Getting the pressure on Tom Brady. I mean, we know it. Uh, hold on. That's not what I just... I can't. I can't call a pre-adjustment. It's too late. I want, I want to get out of this defense. Oh, really? Like, what? what is your awareness rating? Like, come on now. Third and eight. Come on, we need to cover good. And also maybe get some pressure here on Tom Brady. Come on, guys. Ah, uh, he can't break loose. Just get him to the ground, boys. All right, they are going to have to punt. Ninety nine speed. Come on. Really? Oh, it's don't tell me block in the back. What I didn't ask for. It's a rookie middle back back on middle linebacker. Can't be doing that. Uh I've really thrown this game. So early, but God Lee. Bro, they just read that screen. I mean, what am I supposed to call? Cut. Make that grab. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Almost a 30-yard catch. Two-minute warning here in the first half. Come on. We just got to be able to get this done in the Super Bowl. Like... Tire kill. Ooh. I'm so glad he hanged on to that. I'm so glad he hanged on to that. Oh, that ate a lot of clock. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Didn't, I kind of meant to go hurry up there. Come on. Get out of bounds. Of course he didn't get out of bounds. God dang it. Davis. Just get out of bounds. Good play, good play, good play. Ah, uh, can Mahomes get it to Tyreek Hill on this play? I don't know, bro. Maybe small opening! Why did I force it? I knew I had it. Like, I knew, I knew that I shouldn't have thrown that. Why did, I was trying to force it. Like, why am I doing this? Like, I'm killing ourselves in this game. Why am I not sending a full-out blitz? Oh, what am I doing? They almost got a freaking touchdown out of that, too. They almost broke that. Like, what am I doing, though? <laughs> like... Like, I'm just not being smart. Like, I know how to play the game. I just don't sometimes. Come on, strip. 